The game contains flickering lights, depiction of suicide and blood, and references intention or not to real people world I... Yeah, you can pause to read that. Echoes from the Abyss. Oh, let's get right into the game. By the way, yeah, what's up guys, Ray here, and today we're playing this game that we have on our hands. My father had been stationed in this bunker during his first year in the military. Oh, it's a bunker, okay. Along with some other uh, young recruits, they were told about a bright future for their service. But something had happened there that would make my father quit and leave his men behind. They all turned... Uh, asking about his past would uh, anger him in a way I've never seen him act before. He passed away last year, taking his mystery to the grave with him. And now I'm gonna go down in the bunker to see what happens. There are things better sealed away, Maya. Maya? Is that what is what he told me? Now I'm being very slow today. I'm here by choice. I can leave at any time. Alright, let's see if I can actually leave. Ugh. Nothing forces me to stay here. We came all the way, you know, into this bunker to begin with. And we just want to leave. I mean, we have an option. But... Interact with left mouse button, cancel interaction with the right, map? We have map? What? Note will be added automatically to the map throughout your playthrough. They will indicate by a scribble sound and sound icon in the bottom right corner inventory. Powering an item will give you additional information and can hint you towards the right direction if you feel... If you're feeling lost, alright? I'm already feeling lost. I was about to say, I think I stopped mid-sentence. I was just saying something. Oh yeah, so I think our dad left the bunker and his men behind because apparently they turned into some sort of monsters. You see this blood? Like, I'm not gonna question that. Do I have a code? Okay, press the code. Four, five, five, nine, zero. All right. Can I leave? Okay, oh, yeah, true. I forgot to, to cancel the interaction. It's the right mouse button. And why did I decide to come to this bunker alone? Okay, so all. What do you mean by this is all locked and I can't. If I can't open them, what can I do? Can I find some sort of cod somewhere out there? Uh, I want to leave Bunker, but that's not the type of leaving I'm talking about. Are you telling me there's some sort of mystery down here? Well, does... am I supposed to find some sort of code here somewhere? Is it written? We have a flashlight. Oh, great. So you're going urban exploring without, you know, all the equipment. That's great. Now, what do- oh, okay. My stupid brain did not see that. Okay, it's not that good. Okay, so the code is highlighted 1, 3, 8, and 6. I, I did not see those blood spots before. <laughs> My eyes are blind. Um, but how would I know what to do? <laughs> 1, 3, 6, 8, 6... One, three, eight. Let's try that one. All right. Um, I hope it's like four digits code. Let's try three. Wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. So this one is almost. Mm hmm. This is interesting. So if that is almost fully covered in blood, and these are slightly covered in blood, does that mean a thing? Three. Okay, how about we try? So first his hand was bloody, that makes sense. Three, one, six, eight. Okay, I... what? That just made sense. That's great. Alright, we're into the game, we're into the action, and let's see what we have here. And I can't seem to... Okay, there it is. Wait, there are two pages, right? Okay, so it's the same thing. 
So if I turn it around, there we go. Okay, it's the same thing. Chief Williams told me earlier to request assistance from one of our nearby teams. He didn't specify as long as they cannot get their asses here immediately, he is worried. They, okay, so contact other active stations. Norway, Netherlands, Ukraine, Luxembourg from closest to farthest ideally. Norway, seriously? Chief was acting odd, like his life would depend on immediate health. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, dude, like that's so weird, like, because I'm from Norway, so that's like, wow, damn point on like his chief was acting odd like his life would depend on immediate help he isn't the only one that it's, that's been acting strange here anyone else notice that or just me anyway leaving this toss to you dr smith dr schmidt asked me to help with something downstairs in the water control room like i am everyone's everyone's errand boy here why would they uh, bother communications and not the soldiers why would they bother communications and not the soldiers okay that's i hope we got something from that is there some sort of poison oh isn't this like the oh i've seen this before okay in a, in a movie i think a series somewhere like there's like secret codes you give out to other your other teams that are like around somewhere else in the in a different part of the either country or place i don't know but like this is i don't know how it works but it's pretty cool like um secret communication machine like, you leave out codes and then people can- only specific people can read it. That's cool. Well, anyone can read if they have brains. <laughs> oh god, okay. Uh, well, if they know the, how that thing works. Alright. Nothing specific here. Can I close the door? Thank you very much. We got a lot, couple cans. Well, not a couple cans, there are a lot of cans. Can I crouch? I can't. So, I'm supposed to find a security car here, right? I can't open these drawers. Are these drawers or are these just electric? Okay, that makes sense. Um, I think I might be overlooking something. There is supposed to be a card here. Or do we have a key even? That would do too. I mean, like that can open the... This lock of our... This lock of ours. Wait, I didn't even see that. Oh, so we're down here in... Hmm. And then that is Norway, and then you have... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Cool. I think this map is a bit messed up. Or that's just me. I think it's not messed up, it's just my... I'm tripping, it's just... Okay. Cool. Anyways, um, back to the game. We did open this door and then you need a key card for this door. Meaning there is supposed to be something here that we are supposed to find. Okay, uh, <laughs> apparently I forgot that we have a map. Mm, we came from- we're in the comms, comms right now, in the comms. Oh, this whole place, oh my god, okay, so. Mm-hmm. North Barracks, Power Controls, South Barracks, Restrooms. Chief's office is all the way back there. Alright, so... I had to... Oh my god, stop doing that. I had to, you know, apparently... <laughs> you're supposed to interact with this one. Three, four, five, six... I, I had to look it up. Because I thought you needed the key, I did not actually look closely that you are not supposed to. Okay, so now we do not know how... <laughs> how we're gonna find a code for this one. Mm-hmm. Now that's interesting. Because if it has something to do with this, I can't read it. Oh, wait. Okay, maybe not. Mm-hmm. Alright, so I'm supposed to go... That did not help. Alright, okay. This is... 
not going to help. Mm. Oh, okay. But what does... That still don't help, though. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Trying to make sense of this symbol on the map here. Okay, wait, hold up, it makes sense. Uh, Norway, Netherlands, Ukraine, Luxembourg. From closest to the farthest, ideally. Okay, so from closest to the farthest, and we're in Luxembourg right now? No, wait. Where are we? Okay, so we are in Luxembourg, I think. From close to the... Norway, Netherlands, Ukraine, Luxembourg. Okay, cool. Um, Norway is there, and then you got Luxembourg. That is like literally where we are. And then Netherlands. Where the is Netherlands? And Ukraine. Ukraine is on the other side. So Norway. Wait, hold up. Where is <laughs> where is Netherlands on the map? Oh wait, hold up. All right. So wait, it is where is it? Wait, hold up. <laughs> I did see it, but I again forgot where it is. Okay, so it, there is. If that's your, then that would be Netherlands. Yep. Luxembourg, uh, Netherlands, and then you got Norway, but that's far away. Ukraine is even further away. So this, and then then click, and then that click, and then that click. All right, let's see if that works. Uh, we are here, and then that, and then that, and then that. Did that help? No? No? Oh my god, okay, what did I do wrong? Where did I do wrong, like? Mm -hmm. From the nearest to the farthest, right? So the nearest is Luxembourg. And then you've got... Netherlands are like right beside there, and then you got Ukraine here somewhere. Where is Ukraine? Wait, is that Ukraine? Hold up. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Ukraine. Ukraine. On the world map. I I was right. That is Ukraine. Damn, so I still have some. Wait, is that? No, wait, that's not. No, okay, that is Ukraine. <laughs> yeah, that is Ukraine. And then you got. But then Ukraine is like the forest. You got Netherlands, and then you got Norway up there, and then you got. But then how does this work? Like, explain. You are in Luxembourg, I think. Because we are in Luxembourg, I think. Or do we know where we are? We're in the US, right? No, we're in Luxembourg. That don't make sense. Wait, hold on. Where are we? Okay, um, I read it completely wrong. Apparently, we are not there. Still, let's imagine we're in the US, right? Somewhere there. So the closest one would be Netherlands, and then you have Luxembourg, and then you have Norway. Why do you have Netherlands and then Luxembourg and not just Germany, you know? I understand, like, you're speaking Norway and Ukraine, but not, like, Oslo or stuff like that, you know? Alright, it's open, finally. Took me whole five goddamn minutes. Alright, we have security card. Now we can finally move on to the next place. Also, we were called down. Well, we or David Brown? Um, Dr. Schmidt asked me to help with something downstream in the water control room. Okay, cool. Finally, we can leave this place. Oh yes, see this? I should check out the med bay first. Okay, where is the med bay? Med bay is further down the hallway. That is interesting. Maybe we could. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna close you. <laughs> uh, is this the med bay? 
Or is this the med bay? I did write down something? Why did I do that? Either way, it's locked. Alright, we apparently probably need... No, I see you, bro. I see you. I don't like it. I already want to leave this place. Can I leave? But why did I want to check this place first? RST scale. Cute. Cute? Are you kidding me that that scale is cute? Oh my god. It's locked. And apparently its code is between 7 and 5. Wait, let me try this out. Did not work. Um... Alright, I'll come back to you later. I just need to check out why did I come here first. Mm-hmm. Lots of meds here. Of course it's med- <laughs> What am I expecting? <laughs> oh my god, I'm going crazy. They told us not to leave our quarters at night. I didn't understand why. I, I obeyed their orders, of course, but I just keep hearing these strange noises from the vents and they are driving me insane. Dr. Schmidt, I wasn't happy when I left to visit the medbay last night. But I needed something to help me fall asleep. I saw him getting the meds from the chem lab. They supposedly help with insomnia. Apparently they're still experimental though. He said that there's nothing to worry about, but then I but that I should stay away. Stay here for a bit to make sure I have no reaction to sleeping pills. Honestly, can't wait for this to be over and get home at least. This mission is safer than serving in at the front line. <laughs> okay, well, cool. Some people don't prefer the front line, so I'll I see you. Mm-hmm. So somebody, something is in the woods. That's interesting. You do not have the right keycard to the surveillance. And this pathway is blocked. Mm. Okay, wait, hold up. What is this place? Before the med, we have South Barracks and then North Barracks. Okay, cool. South Barracks and then North Barracks. This one is also locked. North Wing and then South Wing. I'll come back to you later too. Just hold up. I think I was. This is a kitchen. This is also locked. And this thing is still running after all these years? That's cool, but what is this thing though? Dynamo tech. Mice. Look at this look at this thing running. The lens. Here too. Okay. So something is up. We don't know what. But something for sure is. Alright, um... There's nothing you can... Oh wait, you can maybe. Maybe we have to turn it off later. But, like, it's weird how this whole thing is still working, you know? I just hope nobody jumps on me, you know? Oh, this seems kind of cool. <laughs> kind of cool. <laughs> um... I haven't been stationed here for a few weeks now. I thought... No, we've been stationed here for a few weeks now. I thought we would serve some more purpose, but most of the time we just sit around, play cards, and occasionally get called to some medical checkups. Don't tell me these people are, like, yeah, experimenting on humans. No, that can't be. Like, this so-called uh, military base, whatever this bunker you have for whatever purpose, I think they might be running, you know, human experiments. Dude. No. So these, these people came here and thinking they're serving their country and then- Oh my god. Additionally, they installed security cameras in our quarters shortly after we arrived. They said it's for safety to identify early signs for cabin fever or similar. We are also provided vitamins and various other supplements. I didn't expect so much care here. It seems we aren't here to fight, but we assist in improving the overall health system of soldiers, perhaps? I don't believe that. That's some bullshit. To be fair, most of us took this position for its promise of great opportunities afterwards and the generous pay, not because we read the fine print. 
No, people, you were here to as test subjects. I'm definitely, I'm hundred percent positive that's the case here. And y'all were fooled and lured into this whole thing. And now y'all are lo looking in the events. No, that's creepy, bro. No, so that means you guys are not dead. Well, you guys are technically dead, but whatever your bodies are, like in whatever shape and form, they are still alive. That is sick. Oh my god. That is really sick. I just took it down. That's cool. Why is there blood here? Did you guys have a World War 3 going on here while there was- Oh my god, did you guys- Okay, no. I thought they locked someone here. <laughs> they created a cage, but no, it's just a bunkers. It's just a bed. K. Riley. No, are you telling me it is who I think it is? No. Okay, come on, stop it. Stop. Okay, Travis is freaking me out, man. Since he came back from the med bay last night, he's been acting crazy. He, ha he was moving the furniture, even the heavy shelves, and scratching the walls, and I tried to talk to him. He turned around, shouted, unintelligibly, unintelli unintelli oh, oh god, unintelligibly, and started scratching the skin from his face? What is happening? First Ryan, Ray Ryan? First Ryan acted oddly, and now him? Is it just, is it just a case of cabin fever? The dog reassured me that he's just suffering from insomnia. He was brought to the lung. He was brought to the lounge. Said he'll feel better soon. I can't even find the words to describe what state he was in. There was no sleep deprivation. That was pure terror in his eyes. Like I said, he was put on some sort of drugs, right? Dude, y'all were. Nah. Okay, this is messed up. This is totally messed up. Like the whole situation uh, took 360 turn. Nah. Oh my god, okay, so we have a code here now. 7394. Cool. 7394. Gotta remember that. 7394. What melody? 7394. Oh, what's that? Yeah, okay, that's just draining. Uh. 7394, gotta remember that. Wents here as well. See, so the, you guys can lurk around the whole facility just being in the winds. I'm just gonna keep them, keep them open so that I don't get jump scared sometimes in the future. 7394. So what is that thing over there? Stop it, this tone is sickening, dude. You see that? You see that? That thing over there? It's not one, it's two. No, I don't want to do this. No. It is exactly where I am going to be soon. No, oh my god, okay, I'm getting chills. Seven... Th seven what? Seven, three, nine... Or I don't think okay it is the code to this room and then this room leads to another one like why are there rooms inside rooms also I keep forgetting I can just check the map if I want to start filter it requires a f liquid to filter so I need some sort of chemical to fill it in with why did I just Why would I want to do that? These are the results of the several tests requested regarding the properties of the extracted chemical of Vaporcel, fluxido flux Fluxidone, Novaxid, and Lumithin. Fluxidone and no Novaxid are a lot lighter than the other two. The latter is also a lot weaker, but not, the, not to be underestimated. Its consumption seems safe, but in contact with metal, it evaporates to a higher toxic gas. To keep it away from the hot surfaces. Same applies to the lumithane, while being the hot, heaviest of the four, Vaporcel vapor and Fluxidon, on the other hand, are extremely acidic and easily melt through almost anything in their pure form. 
The porcel is unique in its properties as its gas is harmless despite the high acidic acidic value. And then you can read for further more. The effort the effects on humans will be protocoled. We won't isolate the subjects until they start to act out of the ordinary. Surveil their social behavior under the influence. I suggest installing cameras in the soldiers' quarters to allow us in immediately to allow us immediate reaction on extraordinary behavior. As expected with an unknown substance, its behavior is unpredictable. Therefore, any open handling of the components require highest caution. Gas masks and gloves are advised at any point in time as it seems to emit gas. So probably what you're seeing is that they were tested on and then they turned into these creatures and then they run this bunker now apparently. And if I die in this place, meaning these things will leave. I, I'm, I don't... I, did close the door though but they were okay this is messed up okay i deem it as non-toxic but further tests will be conducted to clear it for long time exposure i will expect chief williams to double check the pipes we cannot afford any leakage see so that's what i'm saying they were testing on the poor people here and while they thought they were loose biohazard inside a military facility this arises concerns so if something could go wrong, they would just blast this whole thing up, right? Like burn this whole thing down. There's another door. Oh my god, wait, hold up. So I'm in the... Where am I? I'm in the med bay and there's a chemical lab and there's, there are stairs. Okay, so there's... No, I don't want to do this. I want to go home. No, wait, that's not it. Wait, hold up. So this is the med bay, right? And then you get here. Where is the map? Med bay, and you get come here, and then you go here. So that's a storage room. Well, not leading to the. No, so you're telling me I can go on the other side of the hallway, and that thing went into that room. That's messed up. I'm glad that these things are not connected together, unless I mean, except for the vents. But if I'm here somewhere and the vents are there, I mean, these things can crawl through vents. That's gonna be a nightmare, and I hope that this thing when these things went to the room and went to the rent somewhere else, so that I can go there now. And I don't think I have. You need a security card for that room, right? And we still have not checked this place. Wait, let me see if we can. I don't think you can access those. Oh, wait, let me just quickly check here in the back. What do we have here? Okay, no, I'm not going there. Wait, hold up, <laughs> hold up, not this, not this quickly, like not, not this early. That's that's too early for that bullshit right now. So the things, the door is gonna open on the other side, like the, there, on the other side, in the behind the second rack over there. And we need another security card for this one, meaning this one is also locked, but. So, one went here. If I can just close this door, this is already closed. And this is where we came from, and I'm definitely sure there are no ones in this- Well, okay, never mind, there are. But are you telling me those things are so small and thin that they can walk through, you know, uh, fit in those vents? That's what I'm curious about. So this whole thing was a laboratory, like, test laboratory to- test things chemicals and stuff i'm just gonna close that and there's another one there meaning i'm gonna close this and so the one goes all the way here but then they stop here wait that don't make sense like logically speaking that don't make sense so you're telling me the events and here right yeah Also, I don't have a flashlight, so I can't see shit. Being stupid enough, I have not brought any weapons with me either. What do we have? We... Okay, but... That, but that's the thing. We don't, I think... We already used that door. Oh my god, open the other way. So, we are officially on the other side, and that thing... What is there? Wait, hold up. Let me check the maps. So, in the middle here... Okay, so that is... Uh-huh. You can go on the into the 
I don't know what you like to do bunkers have basements. You have a lounge there. I'm gonna go to a lounge. And I wish that, you know, you can block this entrance with this rack over here. And I'm still probably sure that these things can crawl through these racks as well. And that would be a nightmare. But I don't want to think about it. Like, But still, like, this is messed up. Alright, more rooms. And more rooms. So this is doctor's office. So this is chief's office? Oh, that's cool. I don't have the right security. It's locked. Alright, um... So, this one... Restricted area. Auth unauthorized personnel keep out. So, we need to... Uh-huh. Find some sort of chemicals. Uh, do we have something in here that we can use? Oh, another ranch. Can we use it? Can we pick it up? Oh, we did pick up the first one. You know, why not start building our own bunker down here? <laughs> or maybe just leave the place. You know, that's also an option. Let me go ahead and check out if I still have the opportunity to leave this place uh, we've been here and the ones again there as well but i'm glad there only that there's only one and if we can find a shotgun or a pistol even but shotgun would do more damage so i mean they, they should have some sort of some sort of weaponry down here, right? Yeah, like, you did not just... Well, if they did have weapons on there, these all would be... So... Let me just go ahead and check if I can still leave. Oh, damn, I can still leave. <laughs> That's cool. Mm -hmm. So, I forgot what we were supposed to do. Oh yeah, the chemicals in the med bay. So that is that place. What is that room? Power control, of course. A, B, C, D, but then what? Some sort of chem- Oh yeah, there it is, okay. Notice, a filter machine serves a simple purpose. Split the chemical from the tank into the four components we managed to extract from it. And its application is just as simple. Fill the container with a solution, close the lid, start the machine and wait. The filtering process is fully automated. Stop fitting with my machine and for the love of god, stop pressing buttons. <laughs> stop pressing buttons. If your primitive brain is tempted by a red button, stay out of the chemical lab. I would really need to be, I would need to be really stupid to press that button. Well, I already am halfway there, so let's just do it. There's nowhere- Oh, okay, so there's still one place we can go, and that is... Downstairs, into the abyss, into more trouble. I don't want to think about it, but I don't have a choice. This just got worse. If I could increase the water level, I'd be able to cross. How would you be able to cross? Like, you know, jumping on those woods? Water control. Oh my god! No comments on that. Are you? No, no, wait, wait, back, back up, back up. No, back up, you stupid idiot. This is not where I want it to be. Oh, I think I'm seeing someone in right in front of us. We're gonna die here. No, I'm so scared. Is there someone behind me? No. What? What is this place? Body disposal? You're kidding me. That's messed up. So we went down here and then there is water control room support area. This is messed up.
This is sickening, bro. So you killed so many people for the goddamn experiment? Alright, so we can crawl through the winds. And so can these things. But I just hope they don't get me, you know. Like, what is going on here? This seems more sinister than, you know, just some sort of... Human testing. Like, I don't understand what's going on. Like, if you see this stuff, if you're a common sense person, you would actually leave this place. I mean, you should leave this place immediately after seeing that creature to begin with. But here, apparently we are... We're gonna act brave here. Oh yeah, true. So water... Levels can be... It's missing a valve. That's just great. Now where am I gonna find a valve? Don't tell me it's on the other side. So I believe... And I think that you can find a... Valve down here, I think. Also, I'm curious if we have more events in this place. No, oh my god, look at that face. All these poor people. I mean, if I was a mad scientist, it would of course make, make sense that I would still do stupid shit like this, but still, like, you need to be mad, like... Um, it's right there. Yeah, I'm, I know I'm blind, but... <laughs> Oh my god. Next level mad to be doing this shit. <clears throat> There's no well here though. Are you kidding me? I'm so blind. Seriously? Oh god, that shit took me hours, bro. At least we have a wild evolve evolve right now. Right now, yeah. I just hope there is nothing behind me. Alright, that place is also... How am I able to, like, this don't make sense. Make it make sense. But then, now I'm on the other side of... Wait, hold up, where is the map? I am on the other side, and there is a trash disposal on, in, on this side, okay. That makes no sense. And then there are stairs, but where do these stairs lead to the same place? No way. Alright, the lounge. Finally! Some sort of lovely place. Can we lock all that bullshit out there? Please, thank you very much. And we've got some things to read here. March 15, 1965. We arrived at this bunker not long ago, and something strange is happening to me. At first, I thought it was just the stress of being on my first mission, but now I'm not so sure. I keep seeing things moving in the corners of my eye, and when I get close, they just disappear. Last night, I woke up screaming from a nightmare I can't even remember. I can't talk to- I can't. I can't talk to the others about it. They think I'm losing it, but I know something's not right. I just hope it goes away soon. They gave us these little diaries when we arrived. They told us we could- they told us we could use them to write down our feelings and experiences. Why do they think we- like, who do they think they-, they who do- <laughs> who do they think we are? Some teenage girls? I said, but <laughs> look at me now. <laughs> nah, okay. Oh god, okay. March 28th. 
19 wait the first one was 15th march so like kind of almost two weeks later i don't know what's happening to us but it's getting worse the nightmares are, cons are constant now and i can't shake this feeling of paranoia i don't trust anyone anymore not even my own reflection and the others they're acting strange too it's like we're all on edge ready to explode at any moment and at, at any oh, at any moment we got along really well f so far like we've been a group for years but now we can't stand to be in the same room together i can't help but feel like something's not right with this mission we were told it was a routine op operation but i have a sinking feeling that there is more to it than they're letting us there than they're letting us know i just wish i knew what was really going on the rest of the pages are torn out oh my god okay so someone found your diary and then again the winds again no i don't like the winds not at all. Oh, finally, security level three. Stop. So this. This is the melody that we heard before, right? So I'm curious whether those things put the security card here. Can you shut up, please? Anyways, what could not not this? Uh oh. We are no. What the oh my god, okay. That look like Okay, I'm not gonna <laughs> You see if you've seen Jujutsu Kaisen, there's this the character that we all loved and we thought that was gonna be part of the story and then they kill him the way I think the way he turned into a monster is the shape of his monsters too. Like, you know, the long faces and... Except for that they're kind of, they look a bit different, but they're still different. Alright, we've met the monsters and what there's nothing worse that could happen now. So, we don't need to be scared now. No more. Security... I still can't go there, but there's somewhere else I can go. Okay, maybe the chief's room. This one is still... Okay, finally. No. The chief shot himself because they could not control the activity after they, you know, these people started to change. No, that makes so much sense. That's what happens when you do stupid shit, you know. So it's right. Anything else? Please just don't grab my throat, okay? While I'm busy doing my stuff. Mm hmm. Alright, I'm writing this uh, in my last moment of clarity. I sold my morals and sanity and paid the price for it. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. You started this shit and then it took a toll on you, and now you decide to, you know, do something not alive. That's great. I sold my morals and sanity and paid the price for it. The last thing I can do is. I keep those away that dare to follow after me. I sealed the key and locked it away. Even with the key card, you still need this key to open the door. I shouldn't have messed with the unknown and neither should you. There is nothing of use left here. I took every single bottle left of this forsaken chemical and threw it down the chute. Down the chute? Leave it all down there. There is no shame in covered it. Co in cowardice? In cowardice. In cowardice. I mean, serves you right, dude. Like, who told you to do stupid shit to begin with? Mm, where is shoot? 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 What is shoot? This place is still locked and I have all the security. I should check on the generator. These things are playing with me now. This is not... Did we see this blood before? No. This whole thing is new. This... So... What am I... 
this is messed up because the whole thing is gonna make the experience 10 times more scarier now. Oh god, okay. So the thing came here and then it turned it off. Like, that's what I'm curious. I don't think this blood was here before. See, that's what I'm talking about. Or maybe I just might not have noticed it before. I'm saying it just because... I mean, it has messed up with this thing now, but how do we turn this thing off now? We are in the control power room and surveillance. Oh, I don't think we have been there before. Okay, so let's go down there first. I need the power. Okay, now how do I do that? Now nothing is going to work. Oh god, okay. And either we're going to die here with the things down here, or we're going to bring down, you know, bring justice to this whole thing. Or become one of them. One of them. One of them. One of us. Oh, that looked so creepy from down there. Oh god. Oh, it's locked. Uh, okay, that is interesting. Now we need more codes. Alright, so... I had to check it again. Apparently we're missing a switch here. And that switch... Being what it is... In the south wing, right? Okay, I would have never thought of doing this at all. But apparently we're supposed to... The switch is here, I think. The switch, right? Yeah, finally. Finally, we can move further. I mean, I would have never thought of clicking on the toilet. <laughs> so... I should have thought about it. fix this we can finally go back to our novel game whatever that was i'm not getting into okay we finally can use these other doors and we might be able to find the key card i mean the code to the thing uh, to the locker that that dude is hiding oh what do we have here oh this is a tape player okay is there anything else we can do before i do that Hmm. Wait. The security cameras. Okay, I'm just gonna close. There is a person here. I did not even see that. All right. What do we have here? How did you get this position if you can't even remember the basic moves? Don't let Chief Williams find this. I'm just trying to help you out, Jay. Thanks, Jay. It's locked. With what that I can't see. That's weird. Anyways, let's check this thing out. I am supposed to navigate through this thing. No. <laughs> You're kidding me. Oh god, okay. Oh god, okay, so you're... Okay, so... Uh, hold up, I need to <laughs> grab a pen and pencil for this one. Just hold, give, give me a moment. I really do not know how to read Morse code. I mean that which is like probably half more than half of the population but 
let's try and see if we can we can do something about it. Okay, I think this one is the code to that locker. Okay, we're gonna have to replay this thing. I did not catch a single thing. Okay, wait. Hold up. Oh god, I can't read it. Oh my god. Alright, so it says... Wait, hold up. So it's probably numbers, so we have to look for the numbers in most codes because I'm definitely sure it's a passcode to that thing in the office. So it's... It's six. The first one is six. Okay, the second one would be... Dun, 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 dun. There's no such thing as that. Do, 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 do. I think that might be it. Wait, hold on, what's the second one? Okay, there's a third one as well. So that would make it six and two 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 six two 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 and then there is one to three. Four, five, one, two, three, four, eight. that's eight. And then you have one, two, three. There's one and one, two, three, four. It's one. One, two, three, four, that's one. And then there's one, two, three. One, two, three, and two, two, three, and two, two. That's two, two, that's three. So we have a code that says. 62813 and I swear to god if that's wrong I'm gonna be pissed no, not that not that that better be the code can you believe it this game is making me use my brain to the next level I'm not use my brain a lot recently so this might be a good practice I mean I'm, I'm actually so far loving enjoying this game the way it makes you interact in different ways like it's pretty sick I love it being a go like it's a it's a goddamn like indie horror game but damn they got lots of whole lore and storyline and everything going on to it um all right six two eight one three six uh two eight one three one and it worked that oh. is impressive I need a way... What? I need a way to access that key? Okay, so the key is inside that thing. Meaning I need to break this... Whatever this thing is. Uh, the way to access this... Key... That's just great, you st this does not really help that much. We're still stuck on the same thing, but hey, we can go here. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong here in this place, of course. Everything is just fine. Nothing to be scared of. Corrosive EU and 1719. Nice. I remember seeing that logo when back in the days that I was in the lab in... In, in my class. Oh guys, a torturing chair? Are you kidding me? Electrical chair? It's a torture chair. I'm, I'm gonna definitely go for a torture chair it don't look like electrical chair at all all right let's see what do you have three pages oh my god okay may 9th 1964 subject exploration of the abyss and analysis of the unknown liquid summary in 1943 the german military discovered an underground chamber that was later referred to as the abyss this chamber is believed to be unknown of unknown origin and has been the subject of intense research due to its mysterious properties an exploration team, equipped with specialized gear and protective suits, descended into the abyss to investigate its contents. During this exploration, the team discovered a mysterious liquid of unknown origin. The chemical properties of the liquid have been 
have raised interest about its potential application in chemical warfare. For, the, for that purpose, this bunker has been installed as a test, testing facility. We have managed to redirect the liquids flow into a specific, specifically for a design part of the bunker with a pipe system allowing us to safely store it in tanks, making it easier to access for testing. Prelimin preliminary? Preliminary. Tests uh, let us assume that the liquid itself seems safe. However, broken down into its, its individual components, it becomes highly dangerous to a living organism. A further a testing is required to ascertain its toxicity. Effects on humans and long-term implications. To achieve our objective, to achieve our objective, we shall enlist young soldiers as test subjects, as they offer the closest approximation to the target's demographic. Recruitment period will start as of January 1965. Doctor Ed Schmidt, wait, hold up. So this whole thing actually started before the German military discovered this whole chamber. Somebody else actually did it. And then they found this chamber and they continued this whole thing. That is just messed up. 29 September 1964. Following the initial analysis of the unknown liquid discovered in the abyss, further progress has been made in understanding its composition. I have successfully developed a specifically designed filter machine to extract the chemical components from the liquid. Which we are, I think, we're gonna create later on, and either we're gonna become, I don't know what we're gonna do with this thing. Why, why do want, we want to create the liquid to begin with? This machine allows us to isolate and study four distinct chemicals ob obtains, obtained from it, which are now being subjected to through examination. This task, as well as the observation, will be left in the hands of the chemical lab and surveillance team while I will conduct some research on my own. Any new discoveries will be added to this file. Okay, so this is a hardcore research. That is a story, it's not even more. Okay, well, of course, why would it be? I could, if I could separate the chemical. Oh, wait, did I grab that? What kind of torture happened here? That's what I'm curious about, too. Well, I think we know what type of torture happened here. I don't think we want to know. But. On the positive side, we have the liquid, I think. So that thing we can finally start. What were we supposed to do? Um, I don't know, but I'm just gonna... Press some buttons. Wait, everything is just... Now I need to figure out which one's which. Okay, are you sure you don't want to press that button? Seriously? Now I need to figure out which one is which and how do I do that? Do I need to... Okay, uh, I, I still don't know. Oh, okay, okay, hold up. Hold up, I know exactly what's going on here. Because... Let's do the calculations. This is not the calculations. There is more here. Okay. Fluxidon and Novak seed. Okay. Fluxy and Nova. Another uh, two. The and then the other two. Do you have you got the porcel? The porcel and lumithin. Which we're gonna call Lumi. Okay, so these are <laughs> Wait, hold up. Fluxin and uh, Fluxi and Nova are lighter than the other two. Lighter than the other two. The latter is also a lot weaker, but not me. It's just in the way. So Lumith Lumithian is the highest. Uh, I mean, the heaviest is the heaviest. So this one is mid range, well, not mid range, but mid weight. The porcel is mid weight. Okay, I think we now know what we need to know. So, so in order to find out which gas is what, I mean, which bottle contains what gas. What substances? 
let's try this out. So we're gonna first put A in it. No, no, no. no. This one is heavy. This one is heavier. So B might be limiting, if I'm not wrong. So I'm gonna try B with C now. C it is limiting, that's why it's uh B with D. I'm definitely sure it's the heaviest one of them all. Okay. So B is limiting and A C D. Alright. A and C A is still heavier, meaning it might be the porcel. Let's try it out. If A is the porcel and B is the thing, then C and D. Okay. Let's try it with D. If it's still heavier. Okay, D might be the porcel then. Okay, if that's the case, then let's put A and C together. A is still heavier. Okay, D up against the other ones. See, it's a porcel. So you got B for luthium, lumithin, and then D for porcel. So A and C are either Fluxy or Nova. Oh wait. Okay, so I was watching through this gameplay, uh, but I stopped because I think we know what to do. Also, I did <laughs> find this one thing, but you didn't actually. Ha I didn't have to Google up. The codes are actually the most codes are actually behind right here. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Anyway, so I'm just, I did stop washing in the midway and because I think we know exactly what to do with the chemicals that we have. Alright, so which Alright, so the Fluxy and Noah are the chemicals that if they fall on metal surfaces, they, you know, pierce through them. So we're gonna start with Fluxy and Noah, which are A and C. Alright, let's try A and C. Okay. Did that help? Okay, not really. What about C? Come on, these two chemicals together should create something. Okay, that did not help that much. But then, wait, hold on. What do these chemicals do? Wait. I need to go in back and check out what are their properties. Because apparently one of these, uh, all of these acids are... Not this one, wait, hold up. Okay, so the letter is also a lot weaker, but not to be underestimated. Alright, so the porcel and fluxid. The porcel and fluxidone. On the other hand, are extremely acidic and easily melt through almost anything in their pill form. Porcelain unique in its probably this gas or almost as despised the porcel. Okay. So I was kind of right, kind of, kind of. Not entirely, but in their pill form. So we do have these items, these acids in their pill form. So the porcel is D. Come on, this should do damage. Okay, there it is. 
Now, what do we have the keys for? I'm writing this, I saw memorials and I see the key and locked it away. Even with the key card, you still need this key to open the door. I shouldn't have messed with the unknown and neither should you, there's nothing. Okay, so there is a door with a key card that also requires a key. Now, what door is it that I still have? Okay, that is... We do not have flashlight. And down we go into the abyss. Please don't jump scare us. I don't want to be jump scared right now. Oh god, the chemical. It could eat us up alive. You know how dangerous it is? Okay, maybe this one is not the chemical that would... The one that I think it might be. Don't fall into it. And don't look back. Don't do not turn around, please. Wait, that's it? That's it. Oh my god. So we found the keys and we went down there and that's the end. Damn, I'm so lost right now, like. That's a really, really interesting game. Oh my god. But let me see if I can try to... Like, what happens if I decide to not go down there? Like, you know, let's just screw this shit. Damn, really? Not even trying. Dude, I did. I did the whole thing. <laughs> oh god, okay. That was very interesting, actually. I'm glad that those monsters didn't actually... So I think they did, but then this still makes sense because the only people who are able to see those monsters, those creatures, are the ones who take drugs. Was I on drugs when I got here? Or did I like somehow? Or the drug is in the air. It could be that that drug is in the air. Oh god. So apparently I got back home and pretended nothing ever happened. Like the whole thing was just, just a nightmare and just forgot about it. Or did I inform the authorities? But why would you do do that though? I mean, they are the ones who hit it. Well, not really technically, but kind of. Oh god, this whole game is so messed up. Like, I mean, I've not had this type of this type of fun in long, long time. So I'm glad that I played this game, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. <laughs> and uh, funny enough, like I. It, this game really did kept you on the edge the whole time, even though not a lot of stuff happened. But, I mean, applause for that. Uh, it managed to really, you know, pull that through, so... That's interesting. Alright, um, if you guys want to check out the game for yourself, you guys can check out in the description below. And the game is on Ichio by the same name. And uh, till then, see you guys next time in the next video. Till then... Bye-bye, have fun, take care, and uh, stay safe. Peace out.